Hello YouTube, this is DVD Review Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review on a movie that I probably never would have actually heard of if it weren't for the kind folks over at Tricoast Entertainment, who were very nice enough to get in touch with me and asked whether or not I would be interested in reviewing a movie that they recently got the distribution rights to, and that movie is Shiner from 2018, which was directed by Seo Matarevich. And uh, they were kind enough to send across to me a DVD of the movie, which is just a DVD-R, um, but there is an official DVD release of the movie available, which was released on the 21st of October 2019. And uh, I highly urge anyone who is interested in independent cinema or boxing movies or fighting films and uh, dramas overall to uh, definitely take a look at it. I'll put the trailer down below in the description uh, for those who are intrigued and perhaps don't want to enter any kind of spoilery territory for the movie. Um, but otherwise, this review will basically just be focusing on what I liked and disliked about the movie and just gathering and basically delivering an overall honest opinion about the film. Uh, so thanks again to the folks over at Tricoast Entertainment for providing the DVD. To be honest with you, if I had known it was just going to be a DVD-R, they did offer me the option of going for a DVD or a digital copy of the movie, and I would have opted for the digital copy because this cost them an arm and a leg um, to send the cross to me to the United Kingdom since they do reside in the United States. My apologies there, but thank you sincerely for sending this over to me. It's very much appreciated. Shiner, directed by Seo Matarevich, was written by and stars Kevin Bernhardt, who portrays a washed up ex professional boxer known as Happy McBride. Alongside star Saya Hug as Matt, our protagonist and wannabe fighter eagerly looking for the next challenge. Plus, we have the complex love interest and moral compass of the film, Nikki, played by Shannon Staller. The movie gives us an extremely vivid image of the underground world of MMA fighting and the struggles in actually paving the way for a career in a liminal sport of interest. In terms of the overall plot, the story is not very complicated and is very by the book as I'd term it. By the book. At most, the look behind the curtain of MMA fighting generates the most interesting plot catalyst involving conflict. Conflict is heavily soaked into the plot, and frequently results in violent outbursts from several characters, but primarily our main two. Introduced as an enigmatic puppeteer of gullible young wannabe fighters, McBride is challenged by Matt, who manages to essentially fight for what he wants, a fair fighting chance to prove his own worth. McBride is driven by a cold exterior of jealousy as he not only witnesses the creation of a possible champion, but in fact helps to mould this champion reflecting the former glory days McBride only wishes he could take back. Matt did surprise me as a character by being somewhat the smartest man in the room during each scene. Saya Hug portrayed him as likeable and really showed a literal ability to read character motivations on screen just like we read characters as an audience, almost as though he reflects a spectator's point of view. We primarily see this during the scenes with Nikki. He looks at the fighting from an outsider's point of view to then realize Nikki is all too familiar, suddenly realizing she is the daughter of McBride. This tone switches his literal character perception when he realizes she is the daughter of McBride, being a predictable catalyst for yet more conflict. McBride suddenly flies off the handle by threatening Matt over his daughter, warning him to stay away. As per usual with this love interest trope, Matt in fact ignores the request and continues to pursue Nikki. Plot devices such as this, along with the depressing death of Nikki's mother, and the dark pathway this created for McBride provoked dramatic connotations, which sadly did not enrich the main plot but added filler side stories to a somewhat balanced, Rocky-style storyline. The fighting angle was very well choreographed and surprisingly was not the main focus as I had expected, with various attempts to develop side characters coming into play, which I can somewhat appreciate. Overall, it was a breath of fresh air to view a movie without the same old familiar faces, with me personally being fairly unfamiliar with most people involved in this production. The film seemed to take a detour to a more dramatic side of things, which I think can be viewed as both a strength and a weakness, adding filler but at least trying to be generous with its screen time. 
Although I genuinely cannot find a record for what the budget of this movie actually is, it looks and feels very authentic and immersive of the story it is trying to tell, rich in both coherent structure and of course cinematography. On the other hand, some elements do feel rushed and cut short, especially the ending. Unfortunately, the third act fails to deliver what was initially being established. This setup of backdoor deals and juxtaposing friendly favours could have easily provided a more dramatic, possibly even predictable final fight. Instead, we get a very poorly choreographed fake-out fight between McBride and Matt, which cheapened the somewhat big reveal. The best subversion to take away from this movie is the supposed Master S character of McBride actually learning a lesson from his student. And that's where the ending just cuts. Perhaps this sudden end may entice a follow up to further the plot? I have my doubts of a sequel sadly, but I still can't help but want more of this character construction to unfold. If this movie interests you, or if you simply feel the need to watch something grippingly easy to follow that is easy on the eyes, I'd recommend giving this movie a watch. There is absolutely nothing wrong with some pure realism after a CGI fest which we're all seemingly used to at this point. The movie is available on Amazon.com for purchase or digital download, and links will be below in the video description so then you can follow these and have a look for yourself. Thank you again to the kind folks over at Tricoast Entertainment. For more content, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and thank you for tuning in.